Hey guys, here I am facing a GM. He's going to play this uh, Rui Lopez variation. So I'm going to play Morphe line, the main line here. And now I'm going to play one of my favorite lines is Arcanhan's variation. It's my favorite option against Rui Lopez. Here I'm removing Knight takes e5 because it's a variation, but he doesn't get into that. He plays a traditional line in Rui Lopez. Um, and then of course I retreat my bishop and I continue with a normal development. Um, he plays h3 and then my bishop goes to the great diagonal and then normal development here for this kind of positions with h6. I have a tutorial about how to play Arcanhel's variation uh, on my channel, which I really recommend. It's a really nice line against Rui Lopez with black pieces. Um, so far he's attacking the pawn on b5, but it's not really a threat because the rook on a1 is going to be hanging at the end, so I'm not really worried about that. And I'm going to increase the pressure in the center with this move rook e8 and threatening pawn takes pawn and knight takes e4. He cannot take the pawn on b5 because the rook is hanging, so this is a really pleasant position for black. I have a lot of pressure in the center and that's what we need for this kind of positions. So uh, my opponent was a little like uh, uncomfortable at this point. He didn't know how to deal with that pressure in the center. So that's why he decided to advance the pawn. But in general, when this happens, it's a good thing for black. Because the bishop on b6 is much better. And my knight can go to the king side. At this point, my pawn on b5 is actually hanging. So I must be careful with that. I traded bishops first. That's more or less forced. And after that, uh, I need to deal with the pressure on the pawn on b5. There is this nice move c6, which is really interesting because I'm going to break that chain of pawns, central pawns, and then everything is looking fine. I have pressure on e4, my bishop is defending b5, and now the next move is really special. d5. Here we can say that we are actually in a very nice position here. We are much better at this point, even when we are playing with black pieces. We got something really nice out of the opening here. So. My bishop is in the red diagonal and controlling the center with the pawn on e5. I have activity, white pieces are disconnected. So this is looking really well. There's a nice square on a 4 that I can use with my knight. Observe how the pressure on g2 is very interesting. There are ideas with knight takes g2 at some point. I can also attack the rook on g3 anytime I want. So all these things make the position very good for black. Um, at this point I thought that I could increase the pressure of queen c7 putting the queen on the same diagonal as the enemy king. Um, also I'm connecting my rooks. I want to clear d8 to bring the rook to d8 and pin the knight on d2. And that's why I decided to play uh, this move. Also, under the knight h5, and as I was saying, the diagonal with the king on h2, uh, this looks great for black. At some point, I'm planning some knight takes g2 or things like that. So, uh, this is looking fine. Also, I'm fine with the time, with the clock. Uh, that's something that usually doesn't happen because I'm, I don't have like a really good internet from where I am, and usually in Blitz, I'm, I'm back. But this time it's going very well. Also, it's an opening that I know very well. So that's I think that has helped a lot. And here, there's a simplification, but I can continue with some nice pressure on the king side. I was not totally sure how to continue. I was totally sure that I was winning, but I didn't know how to proceed at this point. So I decided to attack the rook, maneuver a little. But as I didn't see anything like totally clear. Uh, I repeat it. And then, well, a rook d8 cannot be a bad idea because I'm going to control the open file. My, my rook was not doing much on e, so I decided to improve it. And, well, uh, at this point, I'm going to play this move e4. 
uh, basically the idea is that I want to open the diagonal for the queen and then I want to capture the, the rook on h I mean on g3 and this is what I'm getting now so it's not the only way to win it's probably not even the best way to win but it's good enough because once I get something material it's going to be very clear for me the how's the plan and, and how's the way to win so here you simplify the position I have the exchange up and everything makes sense from now on if I can trade queens I will and the position is simpler every time. He has some threat over there, I need to defend on f7. But basically uh, the position is totally won for black. Also I have like 18 seconds, so I have to be careful and play more or less quickly. But the advantage is too much. Also I have a passed pawn on e4, so I'm going to use it. My queen behind the pawn, my queen pinning the knight on g3. And at this point I infiltrate on the seventh rank and this is just winning dig it so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and also if you want to learn how to play uh, arcan health defense against real lopez really recommended take a look at this tutorial from my own channel thank you and see you in the next